welcome back guys so in our previous videos we have done customization for all of these elements or sections of this website and now let me show you the overview we have worked on these parts we have worked on this part as well we have added some portfolio and we have worked on this part as well we have linked into our fiber profile here and we have worked on this part as well and in this video i'm going to purchase a domain name and after that we are going to assign it to our website so that it will look more professional so let me make it clear as you can see here edit portfolio or editor portfolio.blogspot.com which is a uh, subdomain here so we want to give it a professional domain so that it could be edit portfolio.com edit portfolio.net or edit portfolio co these types of domain so let me just take you to namecheap and you'll find the namecheap link into the video description so that you'll be able to access the website easily so let's just move on here i'm going to namecheap and here i'm on namecheap and after coming here on the website you have to click on this domain section or just hover over it and then click on domain name search and then here we have to insert our targeted domain so in our case it is editor portfolio so let's just type it out here editor portfolio and let's make a search and here we go the results has been appeared and as you can see editor portfolio.com is available and it is going to cost us like around nine us dollars as you can see 8.88 us dollars but if you want to get more cheap domains then you will be able to find as well as you can see 6.88 us dollars but the problem is from the next year you will have to pay them much higher price as you can see 43.88 us dollars and this is not actually going with our background so we are going to skip it and let's see if i can find few more here just take a look editor portfolio.xyz which you can actually purchase with one us dollars only and after that on each year you will have to pay them around 11 us dollars and if you just room around here then you will find more cheaper domains as you can see 1.57 2.80 1.28 these types of domains all right so i'm actually going to go with this editor portfolio.com which is going to be a, a solid professional one so let me just click on this add to cart button here and after that as you can see here i see an nn fee has been applied so it is going to be 9.06 us dollars now it's time to click on view cart and after that you can actually select from here as you can see if you are thinking about long term you can just simply make the purchase for example if i select two years it is going to be changed as you can see so i'm actually going with first one year only and if you want to keep auto renew then you can keep it on so that whenever it is going to be on the expert date so it will just take the money from your card and it will stay active all right so you don't have to come up here and the good thing is the WhoisGuard is protected for one year which is completely free if you want to uh, okay so this one is free forever so you can actually click this auto renew option and after that you are going to see some other options here which you don't want to uh, think about as of now and if you have a promo code you can apply it here so as i don't have one so i'm actually going to click on this confirm order and after that you will have two interface here here if you already have an account you just have to log in with your account and if you don't have one then you have to create an account as you can see place a username password confirm password and these are the details you have to provide after that create account and continue so this is really easy to do so as i already have an account i'm going to use that so let me type out here then hitting sign in and continue and just take a look here is the sub tutorial here we are going to see all the information again if you want to make any change here is my card details which have already been added and here is my other details which i'm going to actually blur okay so let me click on pay now and here we go thank you for your purchase your order number placed on february 6th this today's date and we are done with purchasing our domain name and let me just click on this manage button here so that we are going to be able to start 
um, start just adding up this domain name into our blogger website so let's click on manage and you are going to find the domain which you have create uh, just purchased which is this one azrportfolio.com so we have to click on this manage button and after that click on advanced dns and just go a little bit down here and you are going to find these records as you can see so we have to make some changes here but before that let me just copy this domain name from here copy and we have to go to the blogger backend and after that we have to click on these settings on the basic settings you are going to find this option blog address and you have to click on this set up a third party url for your blog so click on it and then paste the domain name that you have copied but make sure that you are adding www dot here and after that you have to click on save and as we haven't yet placed any of these c names and a names so we are seeing this error here so that's totally fine we have to make the change right now so let's just do that we have to add these destinations into this part here so let's just move back and as you can see here c name record so we have to make the change here on this record and i'm going to do this from here let's just copy www dot as you can see the value is or host is here www dot or sorry www and after that we have got the value so paste it here and then click on this right mark after that we have to add this record from here as you can see this is the host and then we have got this value so we have to add here click on this add new record and after that we have to find cname record here and then as a host we have to copy this host so copy and paste it here and the target should be this one copy and make or paste it here paste and after that click on this right icon all right and now we have to do few more works here so let's just go back here and after that you have to find this option view setting instructions open this link into a new tab we need to add the IP addresses here on this platform so just go a little bit down and you'll find these IP addresses you can see add four error codes which points to Google IP so we have to add them into our Namecheap server so let's click on add new record again and after that click on a record and then host should be at the rate and the IP addresses are here uh, okay so here so as you can see I'm going to copy them copy oops let's copy and then paste it here click on write after that add new record so we have to add all of these uh, IP addresses at the rate and then we have to copy this one copy and then paste it again we have to copy this one oops I didn't click here on this right icon and after that create another record host should be at the rate and then the IP address which you have copied then click on this right icon after that click add new record host at the rate and then copy the IP address copy and paste it here click on ok and at the final I would love to change this value which should be automatic and click on write and now if we just go back to our blogger dashboard here on this on the setting blogger settings now if I just click on save uh, okay so before I click on save I would love to let you know one thing it sometimes uh, get connected so faster and sometimes it takes like 10 minutes 15 minutes or maybe one or two hours so we have to try maybe several times so let's just try now
yes it's already been settings were saved successfully and we were able to do this instantly so that's a great thing and now as you can see https availability it's already been yes and we have to click on this edit button here and after that make sure you have clicked on this redirected so redirect azrportfolio.com to www.azrportfolio.com so click on it and after that click on save and now if we just visit our website with this domain so let's just copy it here copy and i'm going to visit here in this tab paste and hitting enter okay so it's might going to take some time to get connected again so please don't worry all right so it's been about 10 minutes when i have made this change and let me just reload this page again to see if it is currently working and just take a look our website is now in a professional domain which is https slash slash www dot our professional domain so congratulations all right so that's the way how you have to connect your namecheap domain to your blogger so now if i just visit this website from here we are going to see the options as well it's currently working and as you can see it's now connection is secure as we have selected this one to yes or actually it was by default selected so make sure it is yes all right so when you are doing so please follow all of these steps correctly so that you don't have to face any hassle all right so thank you very much and we are going to go to the final video in the next one thank you very much